Hey everyone, welcome to yet another RCTA video. In this video I'd like to run through some of the features that you can expect from your RC5HL 2017 board. Um, <laughs> a lot of stuff about this board but I want um, people who are interested in it to make sure you know exactly what it does. Um, you might uh, think it does more than it, it, it can or you may not even realize all the things that it can do. Okay, first of all and most importantly is that the uh, RC5HL board is just a simple board that converts your proper uh, hobby style grade radio such as the Turner G9X here uh, to a format that the old RX18 unit can understand. It doesn't work with the 2.4 new units. These are for the old 27 megahertz RX18 units. The, actually the older the better. Um, these old units are actually probably the best ones that Hang Long put out. Many people will probably disagree and say, oh, there's 2.4s, but um, for reliability, um, well, this guy's been with me for a long time. Anyhow, so that's what it does. It, it's, it's meant to control the RX-18 unit. Okay, that's all. Now, it just controls that unit. It can't, by magic, make this unit do more than what it can do. Um, so you've also got to bear that in mind. So you're limited by whatever this unit can do. Sure, there's lots of add-ons, and we can run through that. But um, you know, you won't get better sounds because this doesn't have. It can only play what sounds are on here. Um, it won't make you coffee, like um, my competitors suggest it can do. It won't make your girlfriend look better. Again. I think that's what uh, my competitors are suggesting their unit can do. Um, your girlfriend will still look the same. Your wife will still look the same. Um, your mistress will still look the same. Um, all that this board is going to do is control this one. That's it. Okay. So having said that, it's a very simple connection. You just take your old three-wire connector that goes from your RX-18 to your receiver board and you plug it into this port on your RC5HL. Okay, and of this is connection here is for your receiver. That's going off to my receiver there. That's all the connections you need to make to get the board functioning. Um, I've got some extra connections here which I will I'll talk to you through. Of course, the RC5HL has two 5 volt switches, a new LED light controller which I've attached to um, my brake light that I've also shipping free with your. RC5HL and um, there's an uh, a extra Y servo connector here. But anyway, we'll fire it all up and I'll show you how it all works. So first of all, whenever you, you should always turn your radio on first. Okay, so we've got our radio on. Um, also in another video on the instructions, I'll show, explain to you exactly how to wire the channels up. But channel one should be the first channel out from your receiver and that should control the steering. Channel 2 should control your acceleration and that should also be the second channel output by your receiver in time. Uh, channel 3 is your elevation and channel 4 is your turret rotation. Channel 5 is your switching channel. So to turn the unit on, okay so we turned our radio on, we now turn our RC5HL on the power light here will go on, the LEDs might be different colors on your machine, and then you'll notice that when it receives a valid single, valid RC signal, this LED will flash slowly, and then when it's all calibrated, it will flash very rapidly, so I think in this video it looks like that is permanently on, but if um, you're actually here you can see that's flashing very rapidly. To turn the unit on, it is 100% on channel 5, so if I bring the radio in here and you'll look at so I like the 9x you can see channel 5 here I've programmed this switch to give me 100% on channel 5 to turn the unit on and then of course back to zero so your unit is turned on and as I said you now have control of your of your tank so uh, I can just push here go forward on the motors Okay, so um, we have that, and now um, with your extra servo connections, and if you've got your 9XR radio, 
you can make take advantage of using proper 2.4 so you can then add servos in so we have symbol connection to channel 8 on your receiver if you notice one of these servos here if you wanted to change to servo elevation of your cannon you can and it, actually I'll turn this around so you get a better look at it but this is your elevation servo Okay, so you've got control of the servo there. Now, so that's one feature, additional feature you can have. I added in this LED switching feature and of course giving you these uh, this little rear light kit. Now I've set that up on uh, I think channel 6 minus 100. So I've got a special switch here. And with clever programming of your radio, you can turn that into a switch light or a light that always comes on in reverse and I think that's what I've done so if I take the motors into reverse you'll see the light comes on see I've got the switch down this this thick down light on in reverse okay I can also switch it on using this light this switch here okay and while that's on that light will be on now, some of you may not want the light on at all, and in this case, just push that switch back, and you'll see as I push down, there's no light. Okay, you've got to remember too, these radios don't like getting close to the uh, receivers. Okay, but everything's working good. So that's your extra lighting function that you've got here, and you just plug that into here. Now big thing with the RX-18 it does the track recoil so I'm gonna fire now what I've got here um, is a simple relay module that you can get off eBay for about three USD with free shipping from China okay now these are very handy units to have I'll show you the very simple modification you need to do I've just added a jumper and did a little bit of soldering on the bottom and then I can use this relay to cut the motor, cut the power to the motors to stop the track recoil. I know some of you like the track recoil, but most of you don't. So what I've set up here is just this motor has the track recoil stopped, and this motor is does not. So you can see the difference. With a bit of super programming on your 9XR, you can set up switch one or switch two to control this relay to stop your uh, motor recoil. And as again. These units are only $3 off eBay. I mean, buy yourself a couple. Um, they're so handy. Okay, so I'm just gonna fire the, the cannon and we'll have a look at the two motors. Okay, you noticed this motor said day dead still and this motor does that horrid track recoil again. Okay, so we can stop the track recoil with the addition of one of these motors connecting up to a switch. You'll also notice here that we've also got support for servo recoil. So fire the cannon again, you can watch the recoil on this servo. Now you can set that up to um, how far travel you want. So we have servo recoil, servo elevation, we can stop the track recoil of our motors and we've got an additional light function so there's a whole stack of extra things extra benefits you have when you move to decent 2.4 gig control of of your tank um, yeah so at the moment uh, again and I've still got an extra switch here so there's another function I you know run out of ideas but you may not you may have an idea for that switch so there's an extra switch you can have there so there's the addition for more functionality of your RC 5HL now this video has gone for about 10 minutes so that's probably a bit long thank you for hanging in there um, I'll have new stock of that back in the shop soon I hope thank you